And like that, we are back. Uh, I have been, uh, but basically took a two week uh, hiatus from this thing. Um, well, a week and a half or so. I have been tooling with it. I got the seat back in. I got the uh, seat, pull, the seat belts in, the three point seat belts, both sides, driver and passenger. Uh, cup holders in. Interior is done, minus the. Um, I need to fix that. Minus the glove box there. I am before I put that in because that thing is a mother to put in and out. So I am actually going to uh, make sure the system works before I put that in. So that will be staying out for a while. And um, yeah, that's it. So today, my plan of attack is finishing up up here. I have gone through 15 different rounds of how I want to run these hoses. Um, I want to keep them away from the header, obviously, like I said in the last video. And, I, I, well, I, I don't want to melt that um, uh, valve, the heater valve, uh, the vintage air unit there. So that's pretty close as it is. So after many, many iterations, after talking to many friends, um, pestering YouTubers, Robbie over at uh, UBT and Mr. Griffin, Anthony over at Mr. Griff 23, Kind of using little bits of everybody's ideas and sitting here just trying to reroute the hose 97, 97 different ways. I think I've come up with a plan that I like. Um, it looks like it's kind of thought out. I thought last time I kind of had it thought figured out, but it just, after I slept on it, I was like, oh, I don't like it. And I talked to everybody else and everybody was the same way. They're like, ah, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. And I'm like, okay, hear you loud and clear. So I came back down and I kind of figured out, um, a routing that I like. Um, it's actually been sitting like this for a week, um, and I still like it, so that's a good sign. So basically, we have two lines coming out from inside the cab. We have two lines coming out from the condenser. One of the lines, the big line, comes straight to the compressor. That's this back one back here. This other line coming out of the firewall actually goes up here to the condenser in the dryer. So what I did was I clipped those two. And actually, I'll put links below. I, I ended up buying these clips. They're from Billet Specialties. Um, I'm going to go ahead and warn you. They're not cheap, but I wanted something that kind of looked uh, nice and it was the right size. So they sell them for all the size um, AC hose, the 10, the 8, and the 6. So I have a 10 and a 6 line coming out this way. This hard one comes up and it's going to go into the compressor back here. I've got a 135 that goes there. The number six suction line goes this way and then it breaks off and it goes down here and goes into its hard line right here. The fittings aren't on there yet, but that's where it's gonna go, right there. On coming from, I think it's from, or going back to the compressor. I'm not 100% sure how this works. Uh, I should probably read up on how the system works. Anyway, we've got a number eight this way. It comes along. I've got a four or a six and an eight uh, built specialties clamp there. That one's a 10 and a, and a 6, but I didn't say that. It comes up, and then it loops up behind both of the 10 and the 6 and goes in here because it goes into the compressor right here. So this will have a 90 degree. Um, these are kind of pointing this way, and this one's pointing this way. So when you put a 135 and a 90 both going that way, they both almost lay out perfectly. So <clears throat> I like it. Um, my main thing was I wanted it, I wanted to be able to secure it to the fender. Um, I've seen a lot of guys just go straight from here to there, and while well, that's fine, there's nothing supporting this number 10 line and this number 4 line from that side of the AC unit. They're just running all across the back of there. There's nothing, so they're just flopping. So I can grab a hold of these things and move them. I don't like that. I don't want all that constant vibration and tension being in those hard lines. Those aluminum hard lines, you bend them enough, you'll cold work them, they'll snap. Poof. Have to replace them. So my thoughts were... If I run them this way, because I already have the 90 degree fittings and I wanted to keep away from the heat, so it's kind of like, well, okay, we'll make what we got. We'll make lemons out of lemon or lemonade out of lemons since we've got it. I'll put them over here. Then once I figured out all my routing, I have a this number eight line that goes up and around into here, shares clamps with both of those lines coming out, one here and one here. So I'm actually going to put a clamp here to the fender so that it will hold this whole mess. It's kind of a strain relief on all of that. So it's going to have, it's going to allow vibration between here and there and the cab and the fender so that it keeps kind of all of the, 
I'm just trying to keep all of the vibration out of those lines there and these lines here. Since these are fixed, those are not. Well, now they're fixed back at the uh, other side of the EVAP unit. So <sighs> that's where I'm at. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and work it. Um, then the coolant lines are going to come out. Bottom line goes to the front. Top line goes to the, or to the back. And the, 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 let's see, yeah. Bottom line goes to the back. Top line comes out and goes to the front because the out on the water pump's on the back. The in on the water pump is on the front. So those kind of worked out. I'm going to lay them in here, and they're going to go right down there. Now, on the LS, the out is... Oh, let me think about this now. Now I've got myself confused. Uh, yes, the out is three quarter and the in is five, seven eighths. Correction. I don't know why I had three quarters and seven eighths on the mind. It's actually five eighths and three quarters. So I had to buy, this is some leftover hose. I've got a seven eighths to three quarter adapter. I'm going to put that conversion because the lines on the vintage air unit are both uh, three quarter. So I have got, I'm going to put a tiny little section down there to convert from the five H to the three quarter and boom, be done. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm babbling. I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm sure I'm boring you guys to death. So plan of attack today is to get these figured out, get them cut and um, hooked in. Um, I'm going to fill the coolant system, which I've got um over here so when i bought this entropy radiator they want you to use uh premix uh dex cool so this is just from uh i think i bought it at o'reilly's or whatever it's a 50 50 dex cool so i got a little bit left so i'm gonna use my vacuum evacuator and suck it down and clear all the air out of it um suck all the air out of the uh uh, heater core in the lines and whatever has kind of worked its way in since these two lines have been open for what seems forever and uh get her filled back up so yeah that's my plan today um yeah for those who, who i pestered that are watching thank you for your help um i think the lines turned out really well and uh i need to get a hold of my old neighbor and get these lines crimped so Anyway, enough for rambling. Let's get to work. Well, it didn't burn down. So I have spent the last two hours painstakingly overthinking all of my hoses, but I've got them figured out. Um, that's the engine. I actually started it up to make sure it still ran because it hasn't started since, I don't know when I parked in here in December. So started up, make sure, and it fired first shot. So <clears throat> um, just let it run. It's like an optical illusion when you're looking at the accessory drive here for the, uh, well, the camera. Well, it is a little bit. It looks like the uh, compressor, God, that makes it look way worse than it really is. It looks like it's slightly off, maybe off skew, but I, I don't think it actually is. I think it's just an optical illusion. The camera makes it look terrible, but... There's only way, one way it can go on there. It's got shims top and bottom. It's square. But anyway, I wanted to make sure the belt would uh, work. I still have to put that Motion Race Works um, underdrive on here. But I've got the hoses cut. Um, I've got enough number 10 and enough number 6 to do it again if I don't like these. Um, so I'm gonna, I haven't crimped them yet. I don't have enough of number 8 to redo it. But... Uh, I've got everything in here. So I've got everything kind of swooping around like it's supposed to. I've got my pressure sensor down there. I did a little bit of separation between it and that because um, these actually come through and they actually rest on that, which is not ideal. I don't, I tried going underneath them, but it was just like, it was like, a, I didn't like that at all. So they're sitting on top. I didn't want any chafage issues there. So it's just rubber on rubber now, but everything is kind of up and goes around. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to put a clamp like on this one here, back here, we can't see it to the fender, so it kind of ties everything together. Um, I actually ended up taking one of my hose separator clamps for these and kind of tying these two together. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy one more and put it up here to kind of keep those uh, in check up there because these come out of the wall there. They're a little little loose just because they're hoses. So put one like right here and tie everything together real nice. But I think it looks sweet. Um, I like it. Um, it's kind of mechanical. I tried to think about it. Um, well, I overthought it, but, uh, everything's working good. I do need to program my, uh, um, 
HVAC control panel because I was tinkering around with that and I could hear this thing. I was trying to get it to open so it'll let coolant flow through and kind of push some air through. Because uh, <clears throat> when I took, you know, obviously I took it out. So now I have this huge air pocket right here. I was going to use my vacuum filler here, but I opened up my uh, radiator and that sucker was plumb full. So I tried to circulate some of the uh, coolant through my uh, system and then I used my vacuum filler uh, to pump it down and fill it up, get all the air out of it. But um, I ran out of time today, so <sighs> yeah, it was a lot. Um, I didn't film it just because I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend some time here and not try to worry about filming and see how, you know, I, I wanted to get it how I wanted to get it and overthink it how everyone wanted to overthink it. So it's in. I think it looks good. Um, yeah, so I am going to let these mellow and make sure that uh, I'm going to sleep on it, make sure that I am 100% uh, in love with this. Um, I don't think I'm going to change my mind, but uh, the only thing I can't figure out down here is I've got this pressure sensor, and I don't want to flip it upside down because it'll be right next to the header there. So I'm thinking I'm going to, for ease of service, I'm going to put this thing and kind of angle it back like here so that you'll see the sensor, but I can hide the wire. Um, I mean, it's back there. You really can't even see it. It's run all the way to it. But hide the wire, and uh, I think that'll be good. So, so it's serviceable. Um, it's kind of one of those things. My, my the motto of my my entire build on this one and every other one is: Can somebody else work on it and not be mad at me? And can I work on it later and not be mad at me? So I try to make things, you know, as hidden as possible, but yet make them so that they serviceable so you can work on them problem sometimes you get is you can't work on it when it's all hidden you got to disassemble the entire truck just to get what you're doing i don't want to do that so but uh yeah uh everything's looking good like i say got the uh i need to uh, smells like burning dust it's been sitting here a while so everything in here is good i need to repro or program the uh, deal there and for some reason my lights are not working my illumination so i need to figure that out figure out what's going on there um but uh yeah that's what i got um yeah. so i think i'm gonna quit rambling for today um we're making progress uh next video is going to be hopefully i will be at my buddy's house crimping these lines like i said i gotta mark them <clears throat> so that we can know where to crimp them um so they go back on um yeah crimping those lines put them back on bleed the coolant hook up these uh fan leads here so that we kind of have backups for my uh fans if they don't work so yeah that's pretty much what i know at this point um we're getting really close finally so um please like and subscribe if you'd like to um keep following along keep sharing um i know i haven't been real great at the uh keeping up with this and uh showing kind of real detailed content and um, honestly i'm just kind of burnt out from it but i kind of want to share it with you guys because I got a good group of people that uh, really look forward to the video, so um, I like doing it for them. So, but uh, we're gonna keep keep going along, and uh, hopefully, uh, keep this build going. So, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope everybody has a good Sunday. It is blazing hot here, so I am out of here and heading to the air conditioning.